Welcome to Dark Souls Remastered, and welcome to the Adventures of Nissy Jade the Third. Uh, this video is just going to be a few things that we missed, and an introduction to the remastered version in general. So, uh, in the opening moments here, you hear footsteps, and uh, I do believe that is the Asylum Demon. Oh. Just walking around there. Like, it ain't no thing. So that's where we kept getting our ass kicked, right? Yes. Okay. And, uh, we skipped all that, uh, went ahead and all that. Uh, there are a couple of other things I wanted to show off here in the Undead Berg. Uh, mostly what is a little bit new in the remastered version. Uh, you saw right there in the bonfire menu, Covenant. Uh, we'll be switching between Covenants, and we can do that in between bonfires. Because the original version, you can only do that if you go to the actual person who the Covenant is started from. What we also have here, I uh, don't think I ever noticed in the first one, probably because nobody ever did it by the time I got to this, are Dragon Remnants. Wow. These are pretty much people that you can challenge to duels, and so now someone's gonna come over here and kick my ass. Oh, great. So, uh, I'll grind and get these guys out of the way a little bit before I level up, and uh, we can have a little fight with an actual player in PvP goodness! <laughs> or whatever. Yeah, as if this game wasn't hard enough. And I have just started the game and have nothing to fight him with. I've got the starting sword and shield and all that. Well, good for you. You you answered a, the call of somebody who wants to kill you. Because I've been playing this in my spare time, Jesus you know, Christ. to get reacquainted with the game, and that's how I found out all this new stuff that's going to cha drastically change our Let's Play. Uh-huh. And, uh, well... Oh my god, this looks impossible. Yeah, he's, he, he's mad. I mean, you got one hit on him. That's more than I thought you were going to get. I'm lasting a lot longer than I thought I would. Again, being at like level 9, he's probably like level 70 or 80. Be higher. So is this just a specter, or is this person... I, I'm trying to imagine you call somebody from their game, and they're just like, Oh, I gotta go kick somebody's ass now. Well, yeah, because you get souls and like special things, and you can get like uh, special items for the covenant that he's in, and you can get special items with that. It's like you ring him up and say, hey, can you come kick my ass? Thank you. See, another, th I, see another thing happened when I was playing Dark Souls Remaster. I remember why I liked it so much. Because we were doing the Let's Play, I'm like, I don't know why I like this so much. Then I realized, then as I played more of the remaster version and got further and figured out all this new stuff, I remembered, oh yes, it's one of the best games ever. I, I reminded myself as to why. Yeah. I, 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 I'm, I'm not showing it off here, because I forgot that there's fireballs. Yeah, so at least he didn't kill you. Still taunting you though. Yeah, he shrugged. I was like, eh, I don't know. Nah, I don't know. Something happened. Yeah, well. All right. Uh, next thing I want to show off is the white sign soapstone. This is a great way to get extra souls, especially with the game just being released about a month ago. The game is very active at time of recording. So what you can do is just put your white soapstone down and hollowed or otherwise. You can just run around the course, and just, you know, shut people up, do all stuff like that. Yeah, and then- oh, you're being summoned. Really? Yep. Being summoned to another world as a phantom. Mm-hmm. So it just rips you out of your world. Rips you out of your world if everything's on pause. And, uh, it places you, in somebody else's world, as a cooperator! Because, again, I am a sun bro through and through. Oh! So now I'm with this guy named Death Fang. <laughs> Give him a little shrug. What's up, Death Fang? Yeah, we're gonna help Death Fang out a little- and he's summoning another phantom. Why? It's like, okay, this is just the starting area. I, I, I mean, it's it's a little bit difficult, but uh, if you're having problems here, I don't think you're gonna do very well here. Well, shit, you found my alt account! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good job of killing that dude. Yeah, it will, uh, also summon Fat Ninja. Another thing that's, that's, uh, that's changed, that bookshelf fixes itself in between loading screens. Oh, that's cool. Loading screens. This thing never loads, does it? Oh, hey, it's my other alt account. What's up, me? Fat Ninja. Death Fang and Fat Ninja, I'm playing with you both at the same time? Yes. Bots. No, it's totes me, dude. Oh, and look, another phantom. So he's got, he's got four people going into this. Summoning a raid. Uh, it's, like, it's like, man, we're we're just hell yeah. We're straight up, we're straight up fucking questing, dude. <laughs> so it's really fun when you get all four of them. Yeah. Just, just all, and uh, oh, remember that Black Knight that pretty much kills you in one hey, hit. He's already dead. Bro. Well, what happens when you get four people on? All him? Right. Let's find out. Yeah. 
I see you jumping into the fray. See, as a sun bro, you gotta protect the host, because if the host dies, the game's over. Oh, okay. So, so oh Death Fang my God. with an opening backstab. Oh my That's God. great. So, and then Fat Ninja. Oh, he, oh he, he wait. Tries to go, oh, oh, Fat Ninja no! with the backstab. All right. So I guess you could call this tactic Don't, a I'm bait and switch. Oh, I'm I'm trying to set Come it on. up. Come on, the back, backstab. Almost. Get oh, there, okay. oh, another There's the backstab. backstab. I'm gonna get behind him. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, no! boom! Just DJ him with the backstab. And then he's gonna get up, he's gonna turn around, and then... Arwen oh, with the backstab! God, you're gonna steal this guy's lunch money you beat beating him and then, so and then, bad. Oh, he's gone. We just straight up mugged yeah. his ass. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. That's what happens when you come into these back streets, boy. So, of course, what would a four-way with the Taurus demon look like? Oh my god. It'd be far less stressful, and it could be quite interesting. So, everybody dies. Immediately. He's running ahead immediately. I'm gonna do my usual strategy and take out the two crossbow guys up top. Because, mm -hmm. well, they're just gonna be an annoyance, especially yeah. when you're trying to defend yourself with the Taurus Demon. It's hard to deal with crossbow bolts getting in your back all the time. Right, right. So, we do that and. Oh, I missed. Oh, nope, well. Oh, Alright. That's that's okay, because, you know, I can just do a couple of hits. And, you know, I'm, I'm gonna go try again. Alright, well, Because well, they're, they're keeping they're... him distracted. Exactly, they're keeping him there. Oh! I saw a yeah, jump. So there, there's oh one jump. Oh my god, you're all in line one jumping. Jump. And next! Yeah. <laughs> oh my. Uh, how did he get it? I, I think he missed. Alright. Alright, no, here we go. Here and... we go! Boom! Yeah. yeah! You know what? I'm gonna go again. <laughs> it's like going down a water slide. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> we! <laughs> again, again, this again! This is fun! Alright. Let me just uh, wait until he gets up a bit. Well, I could probably jump, but let's see. Uh, it looks a little, Death a little coming. too far oh, away. Oh, uh, right, he's, yep, bait him back. Come in this bait way. him back. Come on, come on. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, wow, that actually worked. Oh, you can jump it. All right, let's do it. Oh. Until the animation stops. And, and then off we go. Up. Yeah. Boom. But at the cost of Fat Ninja. No, oh, he was my favorite alt account. Fat Ninja's dead. But hey, Arwen can defeat them because, uh, she is no man. She is a warrior. Yeah, I was doing some questing in uh, my uh, questing my my real account. Yeah, my my true account. Yeah, I found Galadriel too, and Roy Mustang. I'm like, wow, everybody's here. Wow. Dark Souls Infinity War. Well, what happened? We won. We killed him. Oh, and then you get. Then you, you get, go away. You get uh, a good chunk of souls, probably 1,500 because there were three of us, but mm -hmm. uh, less people, more souls. And you get a free humanity. So if you're ever hurting for humanity and you're really hollowed, you can just write down your soapstone, and you can get sucked up into another world, beat a boss, and bam, it's humanity, you're back to human, get going, son. Yeah, I keep forgetting that phantoms go away after you beat a boss. And the best part is it, it drops you right, right then and there. So another thing we're going to do is uh, we're not going to kill this merchant. Oh, we're going to yeah. let him live this time because he has a few then you won't we, real killing, we killed him a bit too early. I jumped the gun there. This, this is not a game you can play just, you know, <laughs> winging it off, off, like off a whim or whatever. Yeah. So, a uh, new thing here is the Dried Finger, which I think is a thing from Dark Souls 2 and 3. It uh, lures invaders to your world. Oh, why? Yeah. Why? Yeah. That's the worst item. Uh-huh. Let's see. We also want to go ahead and get the Short Bow. The short bow, I remembered, is fucking crucial to getting further in some of the, well, the, the later levels. Like, I don't mean like later towards the end of the game, later towards the midway of the game. Mm. So we need to get that, we'll get, get this stuff, and uh, we'll go ahead and get the resistance key as well, why not? Well, there's not much in there, except for some lightning Thank stuff, we'll get that later. <laughs> oh, one more thing I think we might also want to do with... <laughs> Arrows! Yeah. You get some of those. You got was, standard large wooden and uh, then crossbow bolts. I was so we'll wondering if you were going to get some of those. So, yeah, we're good there. And uh, now we're going to get to things we missed in Whoa. Undead Bird. Alright. Is that the place I hate? Probably is. Well, um. No, that's the Undead Parish, you're thinking. Oh, okay. But it gets so, so much worse. Great. So, so down here, past the merchant, these four undead dudes. Yes, yes, we're all so impressed. Good job. So, are we opening up another shortcut, or just finding items, maybe? Well, I'm setting some up later. 
No, okay. I mean, well, uh, showing off stuff that I really just now found out during this that existed. So, <laughs> there's uh, a, lot of, a lot of depth to this game. Remember that uh, place we couldn't jump to? Well, here is a uh, great place to jump from. That that one please, room, the one room that we could barely just jump oh, that gap. We could just and do die. that, and bam, Damn there it. we go. Okay. So we're at, we're in the upper version of this, the upper floor of this residence. Uh -huh. with some stairs that lead up here. Now, my original playthrough when I found this, I thought this was just a dead end, but there's there's something over there. Uh... Right, right here is a light crossbow and a standard bolt, oh. but uh, I like using the short bow better because I can manually aim with it. What else do but we have around here? There's there's something else here because there's a way to get on that wall. There has to be. And this is broken off, so this is like, it's like begging me to jump off of it from, like it's a way down. Mm -hmm. There's a way to get over there. I don't think I can yeah, jump I can't, it from here. Can't do that. So there's a way. There's there's got to be a way to get over there. That's the thing about Dark Souls. It's uh, yeah, it doesn't really do much on the invisible walls, much more on the invisible floors, really. Because you know it's hard to tell what you can drop down and what can kill you. But uh, if there's a way that looks like it can be. Did there? Oh, yeah, fatty. Very nice. <laughs> Might as well show this off, too. When you get to one of these, you can press the uh, select button, or rather the uh, touchpad button, and you, that's how you can rate positively or negatively on whoa. a certain... Whoa, we move fast. That's how you can rate positively or negatively on a certain note. So I think I see it over there. Oh. You can jump that gap right into this bit of rock, and there we go. Hmm. And over here, weakness to spare is, well, just simply a humanity. No. Oh. All right. Love is humanity. There, is there more over here? Yes, there is. It's a ladder. I've never been to this place before. No mm. shit. There's, pl there's plenty of shit I've never done in this game before. That's why it's exciting. I'll get a chance to do it. So rubbish. rubbish. That's actually more useful than you may think. And it was all a trap from like, the looks of it. Like it even says, it has no value. Rubbish has no value. Oh, I also uh, one thing to mention. I changed our starting gift. Oh, yeah? I got the old witch's ring. Oh, is that the health one? No, it's, uh, it apparently has no effect. But, uh, I'm here to tell you, Buster, it has one effect. Does it change rubbish into souls? It has nothing to do with the rubbish. Oh. It has something to do with, uh, hopefully something we'll get to today, I hope. Looks like a door or something like that. Hello, what's up, please? Excuse me, I'd just like to open your door with my axe. Here's Nisky. <laughs> Nisky three. So, uh, what happened is to Nisky J the second? I'm sure people are wondering. <laughs> he uh, fell into the pit of despair and got killed by a giant maw. She went hollow. Yeah. To like, when we when we messed up the SS flask, we should have just stopped it right there. <laughs> when I fucked up that firekeeper's soul, it was over from then on in. Uh, how could you? Yeah. How could you? I I, I know. I'm, I'm terrible. So this looks like just a dead end. Just like stuff where you can get some extra goodies to help you out on your starting quest. Because it looks like you're supposed to get to this place. Like, this is one of the first places you can get to. Because as soon as you enter the undead burg, you can just jump to this place. But actually... That's that's about it, I think. I've explored everything there is to explore oh. here, I think. But then again, it could be wrong. I thought you were building up to something else. Well, again, this is just stuff that we already explored. Well, haven't explored ever before. But now, question of getting back. Mm. It's a pretty confusing place. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's nothing here. What you can do is you climb back up this ladder. And you, then... You come back around, and then just fall down this wall. And there you go. No. All right. And if you're wondering where this is, like I was, if you're just like, you know, like, bushwhack, like, whoa, where'd we go? This is a sewer that leads to Firelink Shrine. And the entrance to Undead Burg. So there you go. Brand new area that I didn't even know existed because it was right behind me when I go up the stairs. And you don't even think about it. Because you turn the corner and all that. So, uh, one more thing. Uh, I'm uh, setting up the asylum thing. I've, I've just dashed to the Undead Parish so I can unlock this elevator. They haven't been touched at all. The pig's even still there. So I'm, I'm just doing this so I can get the two items from the Undead Asylum. The, the, the Peculiar Doll and the... The, um... The other thing. The rusted iron ring, right. Uh, this is another thing you can do when you get these chests. You know, you just drop down here and you got the homework bone. This is near the graveyard. You get a morning star and a talisman. The talisman is actually very important. 
Uh, we could we could probably be using a talisman, especially especially in one certain area. Okay. Because it's all fucking dark. We're gonna need a light spell. So then you get here, and now you're overlooking the graveyard. This is where the skeletons come that don't die, because you don't have a divine weapon. So mm -hmm. what you can do is you can run through the graveyard anyway, and pick up the stuff they do have. Large soul of the lost undead. You run over here, and everyone's coming alive, coming to kill you. Excuse me, guys. Oh, that, that guy was unfortunate, and well, he didn't make it. The Zweihander. Oh, Zweihander! A big fuck-off weapon that we don't have any dream of holding just yet. And last one, a winged spear. That one we could probably hold. Oh, oh that's a big guy. I need to run, need to run, need to run. That's a huge run. skeleton. Excuse me, gentlemen. If I can just make it through here. Uh, run to the bonfire, run to the bonfire, run to the bonfire. Now, now, now. Run to the bonfire. Run to the bonfire. Isn't Zweihander one of the best weapons that you can get? Well, if you want to go ahead and use that, you can. Well, you said we don't have a dream of carrying it, and I doubt we have enough endurance to actually pick it up. But I was just curious. Well, it's good to be curious. It's good and safe. Yeah, save ourselves from the wow, skeletons. Wow, that was a loading screen if I ever saw one. Yeah, it was. The loading screens are much more thick. So uh, I've done all the asylum stuff already, and now I'm going to show off a couple of items that we can indeed show off at... Uh... God, I keep forgetting this fucking crow's name. It's called something. Snuggly! This crow's name is Snuggly. He's, a, he's asking for you, you, give me warm, give me soft. So, we need to think of stuff that is warm and soft. I'm trying to see if I can trigger it, because he, does, he doesn't do that Rah, you, you, crowing thing. So, eh, whatever. Uh, we can go ahead and drop... Where is it? Uh, ah, the rubbish. So we'll just go ahead and put the rubbish in there. And then, uh, well, we'll just quit the game. Hmm. You, you. And look, there's a present. Warm. Give me what does rubbish give you? A titanite chunk. That's going to be good for upgrading really, really good weapons later on. Another thing we can drop is a Cracked Red Eye Orb. And I think that you can only, like, do these, like, one per, once, per uh, once per playthrough. Oh, okay. So go ahead and quit the game. You have to go through a loading screen, like, uh, either Rest of the Bonfire, or Die, or something, or... or just quit the game and come back. <laughs> And we're left with something that uh, we'll probably definitely need later on. A purging stone. Two purging stones, actually. Jeez. So, alright, now let's head back to Firelink, and uh, I think I should remedy one more thing. This Estus Flask. Again, I ran through all of the Undead Parish, just skipping all the enemies, because that is a thing you can do if you're just trying to get from point A to point B. So I'm just gonna quickly go into this church. Excuse me, guy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and grab this fire soul. Yeah, fire keeper soul. I know what you're doing. Uh, excuse me. Uh, okay. Thank you for that. Oh. Okay. Sorry. Excuse me. I'm out of your way. Hold on. I'll be back. You'll be sorry. Trust me. Ah, uh, Okay. I'll attack you uh, later. Phew. Okay. I'll harm you in a moment. Anyway, head back down here to the uh, fire keeper who cannot speak. And to uh, tell her to reinforce the Estus Flask, use the Fire Keeper's soul, and now we get a plus one next to the Estus Flask. What does that do, my friend? Let me show you. Let's get hurt. <laughs> Let's go get hurt. Ow. Okay. Hurt me. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, can you hurt me too? All right, that's good. So, when, you, when you're hurt like that, you can just take an Estus Flask, and it heals up way crazy more. Now, is that a permanent effect? It is a permanent effect. Woo! It can be upgraded further, even. Oh! Because there are more Firekeeper souls. Yes! I can kill her, get her Firekeeper soul, take her to another Firekeeper, oh. and upgrade her, too. Oh. So, next time on Let's Play Dark Souls, we're going to start new stuff. I'm going to get a weapon that's going to break the early game. I'm going to open a bonfire that I sorely needed when I started this game all those years ago. And I guarantee Niskel is going to have a lot better time this time around. I better. You better. You will. You will. Trust me. So, I guess we'll see you next time on Dark Souls.
Mm, cue the music. <laughs>